Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions, this time around Fallout 4. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 7 hours and 30 minutes. Enjoy! I avoided Fallout 4 for a while. It's because so much of the game's criticism I have read and watched on it cautions those that are expecting a classic Fallout experience. To me, Fallout is the original isometric games and New Vegas. That ability to create a character with distinctive traits and to wander the wastelands, actually having an effect on the world with the choices I make. To be immersed in playing a role. A role-playing game, as it were. Yeah, I'm one of those people who devoured every bit of content in New Vegas, but in the three to four times I've attempted to play Fallout 3, it could not hold my interest for more than a few hours. So I avoided Fallout 4 because everyone was saying that it wasn't really a Fallout game. What made me want to try it was Joseph Anderson's videos on the game, looking more closely at its strengths. It seems that Bethesda's vision of what they want Fallout to be is a world where you explore, find interesting areas, engage in combat, and then loot the remains, hopefully discovering something of use. To treat the game more as an open world first person shooter than a role playing game, with that distinction in mind, the game had appealed to me, so I thought I'd give it a play. One of the more fascinating things about Fallout 4 is that even with this change in focus, it's still trapped inside the mechanics of a Fallout game, or at least a Fallout game of the 3D era. While I started the game firing off my pistol through the aim sights, I soon found it was more efficient to rely on the VAT's targeting system. Yes, the VAT system no longer halts time, just slowing it down, but the ability to aim at the head or torso without the panic of close combat fire is a godsend. A friend put it well, it's best to first person shoot at long range and rely on VATs at short range. This is for guns though. Explosives are fine as long as you don't have them equipped when trying to use the melee attack, as the default control is the same button. The one tweak I really enjoyed funnily enough was that radiation is now visible on your health bar, enabling a push and pull between how sick you actually want to become. I'm unsure whether I like how leveling works or not after my time with the game. There's some really interesting perks, but the ability to raise your base stat levels which then allows you to access the perks within that tree all seems a bit too easy. You're just waiting for the right amount of levels to grab all the things that really sound good to you. There's no longer a sense of really shaping your character, as your choices don't cut off any alternative paths during leveling up. Of course, that's me comparing this to the old Fallout again. So how did I enjoy it as an open world looting shooter? During my last play session, I was actually glad I was ending my time with the game. Maybe the areas are more varied as you get further in, but it seemed there was too much of entering a factory or a subway and clearing it of bandits or ghouls. I kept away from super mutants as I felt underpowered to take them on. Twice during my play, a red scorpion wrecked my face. But I will say the actual act of wandering the wasteland and seeing what's over the next hill or down the next road is enjoyable. I can see why fans of this core game loop spend hundreds of hours on Fallout 4 or other open world Bethesda games like Skyrim. I think what I'm saying is that what Fallout 4 has become is not for me, but I can appreciate its allure for others. Oh, and if I had not purposely pulled myself away from it, I might have spent all my time crafting buildings. Now that's an addictive addition to the series. Thanks for watching.